The number of new COVID-19 cases in Korea continues to hover above 100. A growing number of cases are occurring in facilities used by the public on a daily basis, raising further concerns. The latest COVID-19 cases are occurring at all kinds of venues used by the public on a daily basis, with no clear flow to explain or group transmissions. They include schools, private academies, workplaces, fitness centers, saunas, and family and friend gatherings. In the capital area, outbreaks traced back to a fitness center and a middle school are especially alarming. As of noon on November 4th, 17 new cases were confirmed, bringing the total number of infection cases to 57. Quarantine authorities warned there could be a massive outbreak any time if people let their guards down. Authorities are reiterating the importance of wearing masks, how it is vital to preventing further transmissions. Despite the inconvenience, they are urging the public to wear masks before and after having meals, when using public bathhouses, and when getting changed at the gym. From November 13, the Seoul Metropolitan Government will levy a 100,000 won fine for not wearing masks. The rule will apply even to first-time offenders. Because of this prolonged pandemic, a growing number of people are also expressing concerns over a depression known as the coronavirus blues. And in response, quarantine authorities plan to expand mental health measures to help the public overcome anxiety. Back in the month of August, nine different government departments collectively set up a council to provide counseling in 52 areas. The council will be headed by a second vice minister of health and welfare and participants will be expanded to include more cities and provinces as well.